welcome back to Tea Leaf Project. My name is Stephanie. Um, today we are going to be talking about my Sip Spy box for the month of um, August. And Sip Spy is that is one of my absolute favorite things to get in the mail. Um, so every month you get a box, and the box is customized to your individual um, tea preferences. So all of the teas you get inside are gonna be different than somebody else's. Um, you take a quiz and it isolates what type of tea drinker you are or what your preferences are. And then that's what you get uh, each month. And then every month, if you rate the teas you get, that further helps like the algorithm determine um, more uh, specifically your tea preferences. You can get a mix of tea bags, glue sleeve. I do a mix of both. I just, I like the convenience of the tea bags sometimes. So I, I just go with both of those. Um, okay, so we do have a card and it says, even though summer is coming to an end, your new August teas are just beginning. We hope your personalized matches this month taste delightfully refreshing. And don't forget to rate them to enhance your future tea matches. So that's where I was saying you want to make sure you go online and rate them. And that makes sure that all of your boxes are going to be um, really specific to your preferences. Um, we're going to jump right in. So um, first up, what I and I think I say this like every single time. Um, that I do a sips by video. What I like about the teas is that you are going to get a a combination of things that maybe you have heard of, companies you've heard of, maybe companies you haven't heard of. Um, there are so many tea players in the game, and um, some of them are small ones, and honestly, ones that I have never heard of. And so that's why I like what I like about Sips Buy is you are exposed to brands you've never heard of. Um, sometimes you're exposed to ones you have heard of, but maybe a tea you never even thought to try. Um, and sometimes it's a tea you have tried and you love. So it just really depends. Um, but I specifically enjoy, I think, the ability to try new things without having to commit to like a full two ounces or something like that. And when you know that the teas are kind of customized to you, you're um, pretty much guaranteed to get something you're going to like. Um, so jumping right in, we have Davidson's Organic, and this is a company that I have um, heard of, purchased from, and this one is um, their Uthu Black. Um, this is just a, a uh, straight black tea. It says balanced black tea is biodynamically grown in South India. Davidson's Black uh, Uthu Black loose leaf tea offers a smooth yet robust flavor profile. This was really good. And I love me a straight black tea. I really like this one. This was very, very good. If you're a straight black tea lover, you'd like that one. Okay, so moving on. Um, next one is a tea. I actually, ironically enough, I have this tea. I bought it in a tin. I loved it so much. So that goes to show how like appropriate the teas are that you get because they sent me a black tea, which I love. Black teas are my thing. I love Earl Grey. And not only do I love this tea, I already have a tin of it that I had purchased because I loved it so much. Um, I mean, purchased it um, prior. So I already own this tea in my collection. Um, but this is Art of Tea and their Cream Earl Grey. So I went ahead and used two of their tea bags. Um, I was appreciative of the fact that these are biodegradable tea bag sachets. That is uh, something that I'm always conscientious of when I get a tea bag. I'm like, hey, is it, um, is it plant based? Does, is there plastic in it? Uh, most of the tea bag companies, it seems like, are moving toward a plant based, like a cornstarch, or something like that. Um, so this one, it said it was um, biodegradable. So this is just a black tea with natural flavors and bergamot oil, and it's very nice. It really has that nice bergamot with um, a, an edge of like a vanilla cream. So it's very nice. So I use two, I have two, so I'll take these two to school and use them. 
That's what I like about the tea bags. I can take them to the classroom to use. Um, next up is, um, now this is a company I'd never heard from or heard of, Trank, Trank Bar, Trank Bar. That's what we're going to go with. Um, this one says, inspired by a walk through the woods, this aromatic black tea has a complex and flavorful combination of delicious berries and an elegant touch of heather blossom. So that's what this one looks like. I got four loose leaf or tea bags, I should say. Um, I did take this one out of the tea bag because I couldn't find if it was, um, plastic based or non-plastic based. That's fine. I, I just tore up in the bag and then dumped it into an infuser. This one was actually nice. It was a very fruity, very nice. Um, I really kind of uh, got mostly the, the fruit. Now this has got black tea in it. Black tea, rose hip, sweet blackberry, black currant, raspberry, natural flavor, heather blossom, blueberry, cornflower, four strawberry leaves. I really just got a, a nice fruitiness to it. The black tea was very mild, um, but it was a, a wonderful tea. And so I actually, I want to learn more, a little bit more about this company. And I love the design too. I really like that. Um, the last one is a all-time favorite of mine. I love this tea. This is Tiesta Tea. Maui Mango. This beats out most of the other mango teas I've had. This is exceptional iced. I didn't open this one only for the fact that I bought, I forget where I got it from, but I have um, a one pound bag of this that I got. Um, maybe Costco was selling it, one pound bag. It is wonderful. If you like iced tea, if you like mango, this is the best that I found really, the best. Don't oversteep it, it can get a little bitter, but it's very good. Um, also in your box, you always get a reusable tea bag, which I appreciate. These are really nice. You just put your tea bags in, use it. When you're done, dump out the tea, tea leaves. I mean, put your tea leaves in, I should say, use it. And then when you're done, dump them out. You could compost the tea leaves. Um, and then you just rinse out the bag and reuse it. They also, you have some disposable tea bags inside. These are especially nice because they are a cinch top. So you don't have to worry about like a filter clip or anything. And what I like about these, I actually make my own tea bags to take to um, school or to take on camping trips or to even have in my purse and have a couple tea bags. Because when here in the U.S., if you go to a restaurant, many restaurants, not all, if you go to a more upscale one, um, you will find that they have usually have loose leaf or something. Um, but many of the restaurants in um the u.s do not have great tea bags and so um i just oftentimes have my own and i just use those um so i kind of keep a little stash in my purse for that reason um but that is it that's everything i got for in my subscribe box for the month of august so let me know um what did you guys get in your box this month? I always am interested to see what people got. Um, otherwise, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on Tea Leaf Project. Bye.